LFD discuss how to properly cut off an entangled ring on a swollen finger. So I want you guys to imagine that this thing is nice and swollen. Um, this ring is not going to come off. You cannot use the uh, floss technique or the rubber band technique. So we are going to show you how to properly cut off with a Dremel tool, uh, which is now going to be uh, set up on the Heavy Rescue. You're going to have a man versus machine box on the Heavy Rescue, which is uh, going to have all these tools in here. Okay. So uh, first off, we do our size up as and we see how entangled the part is. Is it going to be best just for us to get on scene and cut this thing off? Or is it best to go to the hospital? How much time is it going to take? Um, do we even want to do this? Do we want to put them out with uh, with the doctor? Maybe some, some kind of meds to put them out. Um, so this is the kind of tools that we're going to use. Um, we've talked about before, while you're sizing up this process, um, you're going to be killing time anyway. Get the uh, rookie firefighter or other whatever sort to go and get an ice bucket. Put the hand in, the, in an ice bucket and start to reduce that swelling. Um, while we're figuring out the way that we're going to do this. So what we're going to do guys is obviously have your PPE on your proper gloves, PPE and eye protection. Okay. So we're also going to need these tools right here, which is going to be uh, just this butter knife. It's going to be the guard on the back. Okay. And um, we're going to show you guys how to put that in there and guard the uh, patient's hand from the backside. We're just going to have just the spoon that was basically just slammed down, which is going to be simulated as another guard. Okay. Then we're going to have our Dremel tool. Okay, and you're gonna have to have a proper metal cutting uh, tip on that, okay? This will all be in the kit, okay? You're also gonna need a bottle of water, okay, to um, start to cool down the process as it, um, as it as we go through this process. And as we just showed, it has a, excuse me, a hole on the top of it to uh, just let the water come out slowly, okay? So what first we're gonna do is we're gonna place um, the butter knife, okay, and kind of work its way uh, excuse me, the spoon, and then we're going to sit and stick the butter knife under with, to work its way underneath the, uh, the swollen uh, phalange. Okay, you see how I got, he has it nice um, and properly inserted in there. This obviously is going to take a little bit of finesse if the, if the finger was extremely swollen, but that's essentially how you want to have it. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to have our other firefighter um, hold that in place, the get the Dremel. And we're essentially just going to put some water on this to cool it. And we're going to go through the process. So everybody ready for this? Yep. Let's go. So that cut through it pretty simple, excuse me. And all we're going to do now is get some uh, ring uh, crimping tools, okay? That's pliers. We're just going to get those tips in there and then just widen them open and that's how you properly take off a ring. Patient, are you okay? We're good, good to go. All right, guys. So you wanna actually lift the ring off the finger to prevent it from heating and cutting the finger, okay? The water, copious amounts, copious. right? Otherwise it's gonna get hot on his finger, okay? okay? With the water bottle, we just puncture a hole in the top, that way you can really direct your, your spray, all right? Okay, so with these, they don't get super narrow, so come in, like this, and then twist and rotate. And now just squeeze them together. Beautiful. Yeah. And patient, are you okay? Not married anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay.